What's up guys? Uh, I had a chance to get the boat on the water a good bit. Um, took some time over Thanksgiving and stocked out the uh, 106 SV deal that was uh, at Bass Pro Shop. So I got a pair of 10 inch graphs on this boat now. Got all that wired up. Got transducer shields on the front and the rear. Uh, brackets for that were nice. Instructions are great on transducer shield. Really nice people if you've never bought anything from them. Um, they pick up the phone, the email, the stuff shows up really fast every time I've gotten something. Um, put a 112 Altrex on the front. Um, I didn't put the heading sensor in yet. I don't know that I'm going to. And then um, I added a battery to the rear. I've got 431 AGMs in there. Um, one of them's an X2. That's a really heavy cranking battery. The integrated wiring harness on this boat's kind of weird. Uh, I don't have any voltage drops right now. It seems to be working pretty good. Um, so let me show you what I got in the boat right now. I'll show you a few other things I noticed about this boat. Um, one thing that was crazy, I just saw this today. You'd never know this is down here. There's a 12 volt plug and a USB. There's a double USB plug underneath the console, hidden down there. <laughs> I've had this whole boat apart and never noticed that till today. There's a tens on here. Um, I took some marine board, half inch marine board, and um, mounted that to reinforce this console. And I've got a decket mount from ProSize Outdoors on here. So that came out looking pretty good. Um, up front, same thing. Bought some of that half inch marine board, cut it on a table saw, put a little uh, wire line thing through there so it keeps the water out. That one looks good too. Ultrax is on here. Uh, boat's fishing great. I'm out here catching a bunch of small fish on Wiley right now. Uh, they're chewing up a Kytec and a jerk bait. Um, performance on the boat. I know there's a bunch of people asking questions about that. So I got four rods right there. Another three over there. Um, I don't know how many. I loaded the boat full of stuff today, guys. I've got another one, two, three, four, five, six. Six or seven rods down there. So there's a couple more spinning rods down here. I probably got over 20 rods on the boat. And then down in here, <clears throat> literally almost every bit of tackle I've got packed down in there. Um, a lot of these are terminal tackle. The weights, all my soft plastics are in the back rear. Uh, lots of room, lots of room in this boat. Um, overall, uh, everything stows real nice, easy to get to. Um, really enjoying fishing out of this. Um, in the back, told you about these itty bitty live wells. Here's what a little 14 inch fish looks like in there. Um, not a whole lot of room for him in there, but uh, again, catching a bunch of small ones today. I do have a bilge rattle I can't figure out. I actually believe it's something in the fuel tank, um, like a strap or something. Um, other than that, I've only found one other spot on the side of the boat. Over here, there's a spot that I think was repaired at the factory. You would never see it unless you shine a light on it. Um, but I did find it because I debadged the boat. I took all the badges off and I got some color matching uh, registration numbers that match the seat and the black and silver on the boat. So um, all that stuff's looking good. So I'm still running the 22 pitch Tempest. That prop this morning ran 56.2, but it was, uh, it was getting close to the limiter on me. Um, it might have been a hair over 6,000, so it's not the right prop for the boat. I've got full fuel in here. Um, I've got water in the live wells. Whole shot's three and a half seconds, somewhere in there. Um, I'm actually going to make a quick video so you guys can see this thing get up on plane. Um, buddy at the boat ramp's got a 23 pitch Tempest. I'll try that on there a little bit later. Hoping to see 58, 59 with that, but I'm more concerned about the RPMs being near the limiter, uh, wide open throttle. So really enjoying the boat. Um, it's pretty trick for um, what they call an 18 and a half foot, 18, 18 foot 11. Um, doesn't use any fuel. I think this is the fourth time I've had it out here and I've used a half a tank of gas. Um, I filled it up this morning just to put more weight in it um, for prop testing. So uh, yeah, pretty, pretty happy with it. Let me uh, get this thing fired up. This little four stroke 150 these have been out for a while and this thing doesn't make any noise it's super quiet super quiet little motor got my speed up here um, these garments are trick i had them on my last but i really loved them they do uh, a link to your cell phone 
you can set waypoints on your phone and the app on the phone actually looks just like this you can click on it on your phone and the waypoints transfer over to these units uh, pretty slick stuff that Garmin's got out here out here a little bit further trim all the way down let you see this whole shot Decent little run in that thing. It was pushing up to about 6,000. Sorry about the wind. I have no idea how noisy that's going to be. I'm just filming this all in one cut on my cell phone and pausing it. Um, but yeah, it, uh, it does pretty good. You saw I got into some boat waves. I had to let off and uh, it handles stuff like that great. Um, I'll probably do another video once I get some props tested and maybe do an overview of what this thing looks like with the badges off of it. Um, they look great debadged. Um, surprise more Phoenix guys don't do that. But yeah, man, uh, I'll, uh, I'll get another video here shortly. Take it easy.